What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Club and Country. This is episode number 85 and today we are returning with the season finale as we take on AS Roma in the Europa League final, our first ever European final against the Italians here, going for a league and European double after winning our first ever Premier League. So whatever happens in this Europa League final, I'll be honest here, it's been a successful season. Winning the Premier League, that's more than good enough for me, but a chance to win a famous league and European double, what an opportunity we have got. Should I play in the amber or should I play in blue? I kind of want to play in blue for this game, to be honest. Yeah, let's do it. So yeah, uh, taking on Roma, uh, as you can see, heading into the game. Uh, just real briefly as well, um, I've actually dropped the injury sliders down slightly. Um, in my Bielfeld career mode and this one uh, for the two seasons I've just been doing. And the reason being is quite simple. I feel as though I was getting too many serious injuries frequently. So the frequency is still quite high at 70, but the severity has been dropped to 55 now. I'm looking for those realistic rate of injuries. And it's, it's all about experimentation with the sliders, you know. Um, at the moment, I'd, I'd say it's working okay. I've had a few serious injuries this year. Uh, Dan James, of course, going down. But if you remember the start of the season, we had like four or five centre-backs getting injured quite frequently. I think I probably had the frequency slider up a little bit too high, I'd say. But, yeah, I'd say right now we're getting realistic rates of injuries. But, um, anyway, here's the final. Uh, I have to say, our, our team is fully fit for the game because, of course, we rotated our entire side against Brighton as we got thrashed by Graham Potter's team. So we got a fully fit first 11. I don't feel the need to make any alterations whatsoever. So let's just dive straight into it then. Europa League final. It is AS Roma. We're playing, oh, at the Dragao at Porto Stadium as we go for a league and European double. Come on, Newport County. Whoever gets the first goal in this game is probably going to go on to win this. There's, there's some great attacking quality in Roma's side. Jack Grealish supporting Enyesri, who is brilliant in this game. You've got De Ketelaer, who's also superb, the Belgian. And then when you think about us going forward, Rabi Matondo, Lloyd Lloyd and Dan James. There should be goals in this game, but 15 minutes in, or almost 15 minutes in, there's nothing to report as of yet. It's one of those games where you, where you expect fireworks, but it could be a very dramp and dab 1-0 scruffy goal type of game, you know? In the early stages, Roma are doing a really good job of man-marking Gavin Humphreys. He's not had the ball at his feet for longer than about five seconds, yeah? I, I can't seem to get him space. He's the free-roll guy in this team, but at the moment he can't get through. His Nestor, he's just turned two blue shirts and has been tackled by Nico Williams very well. I need to get Humphreys on the ball. He's my guy, man. He's my guy, but at the moment I just can't get him free. Here he is. You know he can create magic. He's found Rabi. He's found Dan James. And he... Oh, he should have been 1-0. And it's not. That expression says it all. Great ball through by Gavin to Rabi. Better ball through by Matondo to Dan. But the finish off the post and then the rebound turn wide by our top scorer. First chance of the night. Just couldn't squeeze it home. Inches wide. We're still deadlocked. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's cleared. <laughs> I thought James was going to run onto that. Ben Davis did that. Back heels to Nico Williams. And we shall just get our foot on the ball here with nine minutes to go before the break. We're still deadlocked at 0 0. In the first half, where I was expecting fireworks, looking at the team lineups, instead, there's been little to report. Now, we have hit the woodwork. Davis back to Nico Williams and former Liverpool fullback back to the vet. And Roma are just doing a really good job of sticking tight to our blue shirts. I want to get Humphreys on the ball, but it's very hard to do so at the moment. He's not got much space, but he only needs a little bit to get going, Gavin. He's got the trickery and the footwork. That's a foul. That's a foul. Thank you very much, referee. I've not scored a single free kick in this save. I barely get them, to be fair. And it's Gavin Humphreys from 23 yards who hits it onto the roof of the net. Three kicks and me. We're just not a winning combination. <laughs> Davis through to Williams. And we're starting to get a bit more joy here now as Nico goes down the left-hand side. Davis is the 
man on the edge. It'll come to Dan James instead. He's turned his man. He's got inside the area. He's going to pull the trigger. Oh! What a goal! Dan James back in the team. Scored on his return from injury against Fulham and in the Europa League final has just bamboozled his way through three red and white shirts and beaten Bernd Leno all ends up weak of their foot, top bins and Newport County lead. Good spell of pressure, it pays towards the end of the first half. It's the speedster Dan James here in the final right before half time. What a solo goal from the former Leeds and Manchester United winger. A moment of magic from Dan James has put Newport County in front of the final. And the fans don't look one bit bothered. <laughs> Are you serious? What a goal! I still can't get over that lack of reaction from the fans there. You just saw one of the greatest Europa League final goals of all time. And they're like, meh. I mean, seriously? That was extraordinary from Dan James. The skill, the agility, the balance, the finish from such a tight angle. And Newport County are in front. Roma have not had a shot yet. We've kept them quiet all game long so far. First attempt on target, easily caught by Webb. And we'll quickly kick it long. Because if Rami wins that, oh. We would have been away. I expect Roma to be much better in this second half. We have one attempt on target. Let's see how much more they can get. Yeah, I've been attacking down the right. You know he's got the pace. Oh, Centelles was in two minds. Do I commit or do I stay? He did neither. Gavin Humphreys for two. Good save by Leno. Should have doubled our lead. Humphreys has not had much joy tonight. He's barely had the space. Best chance he got. Oh, yes! But he says, forget the goal. I want the assist. I want my bro to put his 2 in up. The dynamic duo do it again. Oh, brilliant. Camera angle and Newport County lead by two. Roma haven't turned up. We've been the better team. Rabi Matondo heads us into a two-goal lead. Stay tight defensively. This trophy's ours. Jack Grealish has had a lot of the ball at his feet tonight, but he's done so little with it. And the former Man City and Aston Villa man just can't seem to buy the space he needs to be as effective as he can be. He's played it back to Declan Rice now. The Belgian takes over, and that's a great save by Webb. And I said Roma would be better in the second half. They have been. Great save by our number 13, and we still lead by two. Excellent, excellent, excellent save. And the header from the corner is off the line by Lloyd Lloyd. I said Roma would be better. We've got a weather this storm. We still lead by two. And we'll clear it away. Whew. And you know how good we are on the break. And Matondo just couldn't get away. If Roma need a goal now in the next ten minutes, that's going to make things very, very nervy indeed. They're going for this. Got to concentrate. As Lloyd Payne makes the tackle. Oh, that third goal, and it's going to come. It's going to be crucial. We get it. It's good night, Roma. They get it, and the complexion could completely change. Dan James's ball cut out. What a big 20 minutes this is. Roma pushing, pressing loads of bodies forward, and as they come into our area, it's a great tackle by Nico Williams. He's been very good tonight, and I should not have done it with Ben Davis. What was I thinking? Didn't see the man behind. And it's a goal. Onside. He was onside. And De Ketelaer, who is just so brilliant in this game, has got Roma the goal that was coming. It's been an excellent spell of pressure, and that was on the cards. Gave the ball away cheaply, and the Belgian punishes me. 15 minutes on the clock, and Roma have got momentum. It's been all Roma in these final 30 minutes, and that second goal is coming. If we throw away a two-goal lead here in the final, then they're going to win in extra time. Put your money on that, because... It's all Roma. They've got all the momentum right now. And they're coming forward again. And can we keep them at bay in these final five minutes? Oh, it's a brilliant back heel. And the shot's blocked by Lloyd Payne. But Declan Rice takes over. And now the goal scorer back to Dominguez off the bench. Oh, and Webb with another fine save to his left. Not for the first time tonight. 
keeps us clinging on to a one goal lead. Dan James's header isn't the best. Brandon Cooper blocks the follow up shot, and Nico Williams can't win the header. And it's a throw for Roma. There are 30 seconds of normal time. Nico Williams has been great defensively tonight. Can we hang on? Two minutes of added time. Barisha. Williams again. Williams again. He has been absolutely exceptional. And Colwell clear. And Newport County Europa League winners. Goodness gracious me. Backs to the wall for the final 30 minutes. But we hold on. Man, oh man, what a, what a crazy game. It was all Newport County, and out of nowhere, Roma just flipped the switch. We went 2 it up through Rabi, and then Roma woke up. He got the goal back through the Belgian, but we hold on through some dogged defending, a great save by Webb, and we are league and European winners in Season 6. Oh, that was tense. I've talked a lot about why I'm enjoying this FIFA so much this year and the main reason why is because the difficulty of Ultimate is just so much harder than in previous versions and it's great because it means that even in games like this where we dominated for an hour and led by two and we were in no danger with half an hour to go of throwing away this trophy, we only just about managed to cling on to it after an onslaught of attacks from Roma in the final 30 minutes. Two on the final score, such a balanced game. I mean, it really was. We were a much better team in the first 60, but in the final 30, Roma's onslaught of attacks almost saw them come out from 2-0 down to force extra time. In the end, Newport County hold on. They are Europa League winners <laughs> to go alongside the Premier League as well. And what one trophy this year, we ended up with two. Man of the match for me, though, I'd say Dan James. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant performance from the speeds to scoring the first goal. And, and what a goal it was, man. Absolutely brilliant from the former Leeds and Manchester United weirdo. To be fair, Ravi Matondo scored a brilliant goal. And I think Nico Williams, do you know what? I'll share the man of the match between Williams and Dan James. Because his defence, Nico Williams tonight, was absolutely sensational. He was brilliant at wing back. And you would have seen it in the highlights as well. I need a brief. I really do. Those final 30 minutes were so tense, but we've done it. Newport County, Europa League winners. Let me get a briefer. <laughs> you know, there were previous versions of FIFA where I'm happy to admit it. I really felt as though they were a little bit too easy. You know, I'm just being totally honest. There were, there were certain versions, and we don't need to go out too far, but, you know, go back a couple of years, few years, and there were certain versions of FIFA where, like, I, I could win, like, the, the Premier League in, like, two seasons with a three-star team. Or I mean, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. And I know this is only our second season in the top tier with Newport County. We've just done that. But it's a, it's a bit different, you know. You could start off, say, with the lowest-rated team in the Premier League and win it. Maybe in the first season, if you were good enough, you know. Um, but this year's FIFA has become so much harder. I think there is a turning point in any save you do, in any RTG, where you sort of flip the switch and you go, okay... We're no longer minnows anymore. And this was that season for me. You know, there's always a season where you say, OK, I'm as good as all the best teams. And that was this season here. Oh, my goodness. But we certainly had to work for it. No doubt about that. So Newport County Europa League winners. Wolfsburg won the Europa Conference League, interestingly enough. And what we'll do to end the season is quickly... Si oh, that looks so good. Quickly simulate through. See who won the Champions League this year. Of course, we'll be going into it for next season as Premier League and Europa League winners. And I'll do one final look at the squad to end the season off. And what a season as well. Our most successful season to save. We saw Gavin Humphreys turn to 93 overall. Ravi Matondo, as you would have noticed, is also 90 overalls. Oh, wow, look at that. Chelsea beating Bayern. What was that, 2012? 2012, repeating that final there. It was Chelsea beat Bayern in the final. Um, yeah, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Um, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. We'll end the season with one final look at the squad. And, um, oh my goodness gracious me, what a season's been. Our most successful of the saves so far, no doubt about it. A Europa League and a Premier League as well. And I really feel heading into next season, there's so few Welsh players that are at our quality now that are available to pick up. But I'll probably say, if we are going to make a signing for next season in the summer... We'll be looking for a Ben Cabango or a Chris Metham. We've got so much CB depth here, but 
Uh, David Brooks as well. Let's not forget David Brooks, the, uh, the winger too, uh, we could get as well. Harry Wilson as well. So there are a few to be fair, but really, it's all about the core now with this Newport County side and how much quicker and how much more we can push on for next season in the Champions League. Trying to defend our Premier League title. Are we good enough to compete for a Champions League with this Newport County side? I would say, yeah. I would say we are. We won, we won the Premier League. We won the Europa League. Lloyd Payne is now 89 overall. He'll be joining Rabi and Gavin as a 90-plus rated player very soon. I would say we are. I think we've got the depth. I think we've got the quality. And we've got two of the very best players. Well, three of the very best players in the world now in Rabi, Gavin, and Lloyd Payne as well. My only real concern is with the certain players who, you know, can't really get much better, if you will. You think about the centre-backs and the wing-backs in this team. That, that, that's my only real concern. How, how do we improve those guys to get them better and a higher quality? Well, hopefully it won't prove to be too much of a negative for us. We continue to score goals on the offensive end with Gavin and Rabi, the dynamic duo. Just how much better can this guy get? I mean, seriously, he will become... 94 overall in the first part of next season. He's 20. <laughs> He's 20. I still believe there's a chance he could become 99 overall. It's a slim chance, but if he's 20 and already this good and still getting better so quickly. I mean, I've never had a 99 rated player before, but if anyone has the chance, it's Mr. Gavin Humphreys. Goodness gracious me. What a season, man. Absolutely buzzing. League and European double. But look, can I just say, Isaac Davis, this guy came back from the dead. His career was finished. And this year he scored at Anfield. He scored at Old Trafford. He got four goals in 22 in the Premier League. Amazing. But Rabi, of course, is still my guy. 90 overall now, Rabi Matondo. Still getting better at 26 years old as well. Oh, my goodness gracious me. What a season. Absolutely brilliant. And I can't think of anything else I want to show you. So we will end it there. Big thank you for watching the season finale and the Europa League final with Newport County, guys. If you have enjoyed, if you have, then please do drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. I will return in the very next episode of the start of Season 7, where Newport County will be trying to retain their Premier League title and going into the Champions League for the first time ever as we'll play through most of the summer transfer window for Season 7. Have a great day, guys. Much love to you all. And I'll see you at the start of Season 7 with Newport County in the Champions League as Premier League winners very soon.